I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas hating, I paid the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas hating, I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt ain't nobody really fucking with me. Hey man, say man. Welcome back to Live Free TV, man. So look, we got Adam Calhoun, man. I know it sounds like I'm smacking on something. Ain't that deluctable steak, you feel what I'm saying? But that's beside the point. Um, yeah, man, we got Adam Calhoun sitting down with Simba TV, you feel what I'm saying? He did an interview talking, you know, about Tom McDonald, independent rappers, the Chicago rap scene, and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Now, I done seen the video. You feel what I'm saying? But there's a few things in here I did not agree with. So it's like, I'm going to just skip straight to the juicy shit. You feel what I'm saying? But before I go any further, man, y'all know how we coming, man. Coming at y'all with some light, some slight light. You feel me? So look, I'm going to jump right into this because there's a lot of this stuff I did not agree with. You know what I'm saying? And I know a bunch of y'all going to ask like, hey. Where you where, where, where young in there? Where, where your boy at? Where your boy at? He got a headache, you know what I'm saying? But the show must go on, you know what I'm saying? So, we and him already had a discussion about this whole thing, you know what I'm saying? And we're just going to put this video out, you know what I'm saying? And, like, just to let everybody know, this is not a video to bash him. It's just certain things that I didn't agree on what he said, you know what I'm saying? I didn't agree with him on, you feel me? So, uh, we're going to jump right into it, so I'm going to skip... I'm gonna skip a few, you know, a few little, little spots of it, but we're gonna start it. Let's get it. Oh, oh, technical difficulty. No. There we go. Reading the more I get fed up, I'm working till I'm on a whole nother level. They lurking, I'm humble, but I'll never settle. I'm certain they hate on my name if I let them. My flow is as sharp as stilettos. Bars hitting harder than shots at the venom. My demons retarded like they wanna play, but I'm hot like Montana, so pray for the devil. Hmm. It's me! It's me! It's me, no, no, it's me, it's me. <laughs> you gotta do the bang now. <laughs> bang! <laughs> oh man, what is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simma coming back here with another video for you guys today. As you can see, I got my good friend Adam Calhoun. We just wanted to bring you guys this video and just have an open, honest discussion. We're fresh off the stage, pretty much. We had man. a big show last night. My voice is kind of gone. I drank for the first time in three years. Uh, I shook up a beer, cracked yep. open, crushed it against Simba beer. Yep, yep. Uh, and then I continued to drink all the beer. <laughs> and uh, that's it. But yeah, we're going to skip through this. Get to, get to the, 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 the nitty gritty. Oh, ads. How to get the best tool for creating stunning videos? Go to motionary.com and get the best video template. Internet, so they just get on. Yep. Um, yep. And they get out through the internet, but they actually don't know shit about hip hop, rap, or the culture. Yep. They bring out monitors and, and mic. Hold on, yeah. I'm about 25 miles south of Chicago. So, you know, I'm a white boy, you know what I'm mm. saying? So. Um, you gotta go into the hood and you gotta rap, you gotta freestyle, you're battle rapping and, and, and literally on the street corners, currency exchanges. Yeah. They bring out monitors and, and mics and, and uh, you know, I was sneaking into clubs with my buddy Chuck and we were getting in there and doing rap battles, open mics and all that and we're the only white boys in miles. I mean, you wouldn't walk foot in that fucking, that, these, these places that we were at, like mm. Ingle, Inglewood, the west side of Chicago. I mean, you just couldn't walk there, but they knew what we were there for. We weren't on no bullshit. Yeah. Uh, and we had to earn our stripes, you know, and I, it's not like that nowadays. Now you just got these dudes coming out. They got the internet, so they just get on. Yep. Um, yep. And they get out through the internet, but they actually don't know shit about hip hop, rap, or the culture and didn't do shit in the culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, most definitely. That was 20 fucking years ago, you know, and I'm just now getting on because of course, I have a social media platform, and I was able to use it. Mm. Um, when I started rapping, people were like, "Dude, you rap? Like you just started rapping and you can rap?" I'm like, "I mean, <clears throat> I ain't the greatest rapper, but I started rapping when I was a kid out of love and passion. Then I took it serious, and uh, um, you know, then I, and Taman came, and uh, you know, I was an absent father for a few years, chasing my dreams, and we sh were shopped to all the labels and." That didn't work out so well, and and, and uh, I just gave it up. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dope ass story to hear, man. And and keeping with the rap and the rappers, man. How do you feel about the climate of 
the rappers right now because a lot of rappers use you know topics in their songs now like uh well if you want so i can i can only really speak on independent because i'm independent you know like yeah. fully fully independent there's no buddy taking chunks of my uh money out of my um you know streaming or anything yeah. out of my music catalog period mm. you know you got some of these guys who claim they're independent but they got they got people digging in their pockets hard you yeah. know what i'm saying um so excuse my voice also i sound like a fucking wrecked ass <laughs> it's cool you know what i'm saying yeah. not really though to me it's whack as fuck you know what i'm saying like i talk about these subjects on videos because i don't just you know obviously you guys know i don't just make music i i, I got bigger by saying my opinions on yep. things so i'll make videos about this but once you start rapping about topics like coronavirus or cancer or, i mean that's just it's whatever's clicky or trending or depression and you know what i mean like i have rapped about these things that I really go through on a daily basis that I take medication for or you know I did the Patriot that's about yeah. America but if you look at my whole catalog I have like four songs that are real as fuck and they had to be done like racism yep. and and that wasn't for views obviously I mean people were like do not put that out do not put that out you're saying the n-word don't put that out you know that's yeah and this is where this is where I felt like he started talking about Tom. You know what I'm saying? This is the exact moment where he started talking about Tom. And and my whole thing is, man, about what he just said is the simple fact, which is why I didn't agree with it. You feel me? It, which is, this is what he said. You know, people, you know, making songs about cancer and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's Tom Lane. You know what I'm saying? That's the lane that Tom is in because he actually has the balls to stand up and speak on what's relevant and what's really going on in this world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's It takes guts to do that. You know what I'm saying? And especially with the platform that Tom has, he can spread his message further, you know what I'm saying, by putting it out on social media. You know what I'm saying? Through YouTube and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it back and just so y'all can see what I mean. You know what I'm saying? That, I just didn't like how he said that. You know, he may, he like like Adam said, he may have four songs that he, he used topics for like racism and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But that's you. You feel what I'm saying? That's you. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep going into it. Let's get it. Like racism. Yep. Yeah. And and that wasn't for. Only oh, knows how he's saying that wasn't for views. You know what I'm saying? Then what was it for? Like that's that's what I want to know. Like, what was it for? Was you just saying it just to say it, or was you saying it to mean what you saying? You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. You gotta you got you gotta say what you mean and mean what you say, not just say something just to say it. You know what I'm saying? That 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 don't make sense to me. You feel me? That's the one thing that don't make sense to me about this, about what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know, I did the Patriot. That's about yeah. America. But if you look at my whole catalog, I have like four songs that are real as fuck. And they had to be done. Like he, like, said, like he said, they real as fuck. And they had to be done. Hey, listen. Racism. Yep. And, and that wasn't for views, obviously. I mean, people were like, do not put that out. Do not put that out. You're saying the N-word. Don't put that out. And he basically you know? saying that that, he just said that wasn't for views. But I still feel like deep down, even though they may be cool and a lot of y'all is just, I'm just now getting to know Adam. Like my brother is, you know what I'm saying? We just now getting to know uh, Adam Calhoun. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand, like, I'm trying to know more about him, like, you know, how he thinks, you know what I'm saying, about certain topics, you know, certain things just going on right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to dig deeper into that and just see his thought process, you know what I'm saying, and this interview wasn't a good interpretation of his thought process because, like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, it just, like, when we get deeper into it, you're going to see what I'm saying, and I'm going to explain, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to explain when it gets to the part. 
Well, that's gonna ruin what your, your career, what you're doing. And I'm not the dude who's gonna act like I'm doing something. Oh man, like yeah, I'm so edgy, yeah. and trendy. Yeah. And but then bleep out the swears or not go there. I went all the way there with that song. Yeah. Uh, and you, full sin. Nobody man. can take that away from me. Uh, and it, it hurt my career in certain aspects as far as certain people. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to work with because of because of that song or my views on life. Um, uh, I can't Google, YouTube, Facebook. Facebook's deleted my whole uh, big account. You know, YouTube. I can't run ads behind videos like some of these rappers do. Mm -hmm. You get a dude who, who who puts a trending topic out, bleeps all the swears out, puts ten stacks behind it, targets everyone, and you guys don't know this shit. Targets. You know, similar people's audiences like mine and churches, and then bang, they get a million views in 24 hours. And people are like, yeah, this is brilliant. you don't even know what the fuck's going on, mm. you know. And they're acting like they're about the shit they're talking about. Like, bro, you don't know. See, I don't even know if he was speaking in general, or you know, what I'm saying directly, like subliminally, talking about Tom. You know, what I'm saying. They make I don't know I don't know what that was you know what I'm saying I don't know who like what he's referencing who who he's talking about you know what I'm saying huh yeah you you're not watching it <laughs> my mom got him but uh yeah so like um I feel like he I feel like he was like subliminally talking about Tom you know what I'm saying. And then people that don't know, oh, he got a million views on it, you know what I'm saying? So he must be popping. Let's let's see what's going on. Oh, let's ride with him. Like that's that's the vibe I'm catching from him right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he being real subliminal with what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? And not just be, like like not being direct about what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? But see, we're gonna bring it back, and I'm gonna see if y'all see what I see. You feel me? I know I'm not tripping, but you know, I just want to see if y'all see what I see. Let's go back some. Alright, right there. Behind it, targets everyone, and you guys don't know this shit. Targets, you know, similar people's audiences like mine and churches, and then bang, they get a million views in 24 hours, and people are like, yeah, this is brilliant. You don't even know what the fuck's going on, mm -hmm. you know? And they're acting like they're about the shit they're talking about. Like, bro, you don't know what canceled is. Like I've legit been canceled and banned and boycotted in states and venues and you know what I'm saying deleted off social media and you you guys are, it's it's cute to play like you're the victim and all that shit and you know what you're talking about but <laughs> now y'all tell me if that's not him talking about Tom come on man y'all tell me because then I know Simba gonna bring up like what well, would you ever do a song with Tom. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I seen this video. I actually watched it twice. This is my third time watching it. You feel what I'm saying? And I still feel the same way on what he's saying. Like, he don't know what it feels feels like to be canceled, to be scrutinized, criticized, whatever word, other words fall after that. You know what I'm saying? For criticism, being criticized. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure that Tom is full aware of, like, Everybody that's hating on him, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, I I 100% know that he does not worry about that. You just got to keep on doing you and keep on moving forward, right? Keep on climbing the ladder, excelling, going higher. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, like, just step down and just sit back and not speak up on, on how you feel. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. But, like, I know I'm not tripping. I, I hope y'all see what I see. You feel me? He being subliminal. That's what I'm, that's, that's how I feel. Now, I, I, now the first song that we reacted to by Adam was dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to still dive into more. I, 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 I like his music. You know what I'm saying? I like his music already, and I'm only one song in. You know, I'm just trying to get a better feel of him. And, you know what I'm saying? But that is, that's what it is. I feel like right here he's talking about Tom. Now, y'all tell me if I'm tripping, bro. Please tell me. Yeah, and you, you guys, are, it's it's cute to play like you're the victim and all that shit, and you know what you're talking about. But I'm not gonna say there's a lot of fake 
motherfuckers mm. in this shit, you know, and that's and that's a fact. I know a lot of these dudes. I've been around a lot of these dudes, and there's more fake ones than real ones, and it's sad. Yeah, it's yeah. sad that you all fall for it. You always do like you know questions and the answer thing on you know Instagram and stuff like that. You always connect them with you know the fans and stuff, and people ask you all the time, "Would you do a song with Tom McDonald? Would you?" <sighs> <sighs> I mean, look, <laughs> Tom is a, a good rapper. I'm not going to hate on what he's doing. Uh, yeah, I see. He say Tom's a good rapper. All right, listen. I see what he's doing, obviously. I mean, it's not hard to see what he's doing. Uh, if he ever wanted to do a song that was just a straight, just rap song, mm. didn't have to do with some, like a, like a, like, if he just ever wanted to do a straight rap song where he just murder a fucking beat, yeah, I would, I would do, I would do something with him because I think that's what the people would want to see. Yeah, because that's what I'm always trying to do. What do they want to see? Yeah, you know what, and that's the thing that they comment the most and, on. And look, I absolutely agree with Adam on that. You know what I'm saying? Doing the song that way, but you gotta understand the lane that Tom is in. I'm pretty sure Tom will have fun just jumping on the track, just murdering a beat. You know what I'm saying? But he. I feel like he was more so of, like thinking on the lines like, if I do a song with 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 Tom, oh, it's gonna be on some political shit. I'm I'm not with that. I'm not with that and all that. Like, I just felt like that's where he was going with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just I did not like the certain things that he said. Just I don't know. Man. It just rubbed me the wrong way. It just rubbed me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Cause Tom is Tom and I know Adam is Adam. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, man, this is not a video to bash him or whatever. But we're gonna finish out the last few little seconds. I'm sure he gets it. I get it. Uh, I, I've never wanted to do a song with Tom. And, and I, I mean, I don't care if I ever do or not. But if I ever did, that would be my thing. Like, look, bro, I, if we're doing this, Make it a rap song. Yeah. I don't want to make it about something that's going around in my country and, yeah. and, and things like this. Right. That's why I said that's Tom Lane. You feel what I'm saying? And like, if you done made four songs like that already, Adam, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you should keep that trend going because it's like stuff that people need to hear, especially like if you got the knowledge for it. It's stuff that people need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Half of these people out here are afraid to speak up you know what i'm saying and that's what we doing on our platform like we're just speaking up you feel me like ain't no holding back we just we keep it 100 on this channel you know what i'm saying and and, and all of our subscribers know that you know what i'm saying we keep it 100 on this channel you know what i'm saying ain't no training gonna be no switching up none of that you know what i'm saying but that's why i said like this video was not the bad adam calhoun it's just certain things he said i did not agree with didn't like what he said, you know what I'm saying? Because I know now that y'all tell us that, oh, they cool now, you know what I'm saying? Everything's straight. I understand everything's straight, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I'm just trying to dig deeper into Adam to just see what, what kind of person he is, you know what I'm saying? So from this interview, I already kind of picked up on what type of person he is, you know? He just like to stay in his own lane, you feel me? That's all he like to do, he like to stay in his own lane. Everybody got their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Adam and Adam got his comfort zone to where he just wanna stay in his lane, like just jump on a beat, murder a beat, or whatever. But like doing a feature with, with Tom does does not necessarily mean that it's gonna automatically be on some uh stuff that's going around in uh, going going on around in the country. It's not gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, like I said before, Tom wouldn't mind doing that, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, man, that's how I really felt about that. You know, I felt like he was just, he was being subliminal. A lot of y'all going to be like, oh, this old, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it can be old all it want, all, all it is. You know, it can be old. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I just had to speak on that and just let y'all know how I felt about that. Um, but other than that, man, we're going to keep on diving into some Adam. You feel me? Um, we'll keep on diving into some Adam. I want to hear more of them. You know what I'm saying? Because the pressure song. I feel like the pressure song was a deep song, you know what I'm saying? Like he spoke that from his heart, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he got better stuff. So y'all let y'all let us know down in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? What else we need to check out by Adam next, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep on going down that rabbit hole, man. But if you're new to the channel,
please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, man. And turn that post notification bell on, man, and get notified every single time that we upload, man. But look, like we always say, man, the grind don't stop. You feel me? But uh, until the next one, make sure y'all love life. Live free. Peace. On God, I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas ain't and I paid the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas ain't and I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt.